No fap. Yes, that word. Anyone who knows anything of self-improvement or has watched any bit of self-improvement, maybe even not, I think most people know the term no fap and what it means. And anyone who's actually even tried it knows how hard it is. Maybe so much so to the point that they don't even know what the benefits are because they've never actually been able to do it for longer than three, four days. I've been on no fap for... I don't remember how long it's been now, but it's been more than a year. I'm going to tell you the benefits from it. The one most amazing benefit that's come from it. And also how you can do the same. My name is Wada, and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. First of all, I hope things have been good. I hope you've been alright. Also, apologies, the lighting's going to be weird because the sun's kind of going and then leaving and then coming back. And it's also really, we're currently, England's currently going through a bit of a storm. So it's going to be really windy. So and yeah, if my camera flies away and dies and eh, yeah, no fab. Thinking back to when I was around 14 to 17, I'd like to tell you a story on how my life was when I was that age. Maybe that's around your age. I was addicted to wanking. I was addicted to the hub. I was really addicted to it. Honestly, fapping almost two, three times a day before I even woke up and got out of bed. Yeah, 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 I, I was addicted for like 14 to like 17, I think. That's like three years. I was addicted I was addicted for a while, but to be honest, I had it better than others. There are a lot of people who have it way worse, who have had to deal with it way worse. Maybe that idiot friend showed it to them when they were like nine. When I was in Thailand, I met a little nine-year-old, little kid, right? I was living with him for a bit, super, super sweet. He already knew what the hub was. At nine years old, he already knew what the hub was. How messed up is that? So there are others that have it worse than I do, and I know that for a fact. So I, I'm very lucky that I got out of it as soon as I did. But the thing is, I think about my self-improvement journey, yeah? I've been on self-improvement for about nearly two years now. That sounds like a lot, but it, to be honest, in the grand scheme of things, I'm still kind of new to this stuff. I'm still new to self-improvement, to being on NoFap. I'm still kind of, it's still a recent thing for me. Two years in the grand scheme of things, you know, out of someone's whole lifetime, like 80 years. Yeah, two years is not a lot. So I still have a lot to learn. But from what I have learned, from my experience, from being addicted and in that hole, really deep down in that hole. And the thing is, when I was addicted to like, you know, the hub, wanking, fapping, I also was addicted to so many other habits. You know, that wasn't the only thing. I was doing all the bad degenerate habits. I was doing everything. Video games, drinking, some drugs as well. I was, I was in a bad place. I was in a really bad place. And the one biggest downfall of this, the biggest thing that affects your health from doing all this degenerate stuff is the, uh, is the mental image self-image how you see yourself and that's also the biggest benefit that is the one true biggest benefit that's come from being on no fat and that is your self-image how you see yourself think about it right imagine this you right who is addicted to all the bad habits who faps three times a day twice before he even gets out of his bed and when he does get out of bed he just walks straight to his xbox his pc games for the whole weekend and then he goes to school doesn't do any revision doesn't study doesn't do his homework and when he finishes school he either goes out drinking with friends or he goes back and plays video games faps a couple more times think about that kind of life how would you see yourself what would your self-image be how would you mentally see yourself and if i'm thinking back to little me 14 year olds me 14 year olds 14 year old me to 17, I know I didn't look at myself in a good light. I had some really dark thoughts and I was not in a good place and I didn't. The way I saw myself, I saw myself as the weird creepy guy who watches it online and is okay and satisfied with watching it online rather than actually partaking in it myself. And then think about me now, you know, me now after being over a year on NoFap compared to younger me, how do you think I see myself now? I have been on NoFap. I also, after a month of being on NoFap, I quit all the other bad habits. I started doing all the good habits. So I didn't just do no NoFap. I started going to the gym. I started eating healthier. I started taking pride in my looks. I started meditating, taking pride in my mental health. Think about how I saw myself then. 
not as the guy who is <laughs> creepily sits in the corner and doesn't partake in and watches it compared to now that is this is probably the best benefit that has come from being on mofat for over a year and that is the self-image the mental side because if you think about it it is all mental the self-image how i saw myself and how i see myself now that is the biggest benefit that's come from nofap imagine future you right imagine future you just looks at you and says thank you man thank you for starting on self-improvement those years ago thank you for going on nofap just thank you for starting because the way i see myself now my self-image it is so much better than where you are right now. I see myself in a positive light, and I know right now, young me, that you aren't seeing yourself so good right now. I know that you're not thinking such good thoughts. But trust me, just by starting and staying consistent, in a year's time, you are like a different person. You are like a different person. Imagine future you just saying that to you. This is the biggest benefit that's come from NoFap. And maybe that will be motivation for you to actually stay consistent on it. This is my second time filming this since my camera kind of died and fell and the lens broke. So I had to get a different lens. I hope this video has been helpful. And I hope you've been good. And another one's going to pop up in the corner. And I would be really appreciative if you clicked on this because this could definitely help you out like this video has. And if you're not subscribed to me, there's a high chance you will never, ever find this channel again. So subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah, some improvement gears. Mwah.